Welcome everyone to the first video on my new channel, Big Red on the Road. It is a going to be a new travel blog of me and my adventures, and my first video will be for one of my biggest adventures in my life, which will be hiking the Appalachian Trail. I'll be departing sometime later February in the spring of 2018, and planning from going from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Katahdin in Maine. Uh, doing it all in one shot, so North Bounder. Uh, trail name is Big Red. Big Red on the road. And it's going to start out with a gear video. Very early in the makings, just most of my big items. Uh, ones that will probably have the biggest impact of me on the trail, like shelter, cooking, etc. Throw out some feelers. Uh, still got to pick up clothing and some other smaller items but uh, that's more personal preference stuff. I mean, it's all personal preference, but that's more of just kind of whatever fits me the best. Uh, so here's the very first, very in the works gear video. All right, to start off, we'll go with the big three. My pack is going to be the Osprey Atmos 65 anti-gravity in the awesome Cinnabar Red. Uh, I know some people choose to keep the brain or take the brain off. I preferably like to keep it on. Um, anti-gravity system on the back works great. Hip belt super comfortable. Um, I am a pledged REI fan. If you have not yet gone to REI and seen the Centennial National Parks patches, I recommend picking one up. Helps support a good cause and uh, they look pretty cool. That's my little my little plug for that. Uh, for my tent, I'm using the REI Quarter Dome 2. I like the two person tent. It's lightweight. It's basically the very similar design to the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 just not four hundred dollars and then the comparable quarter dome two footprint uh, for sleeping I don't have it with me like I said it's in storage uh, sleeping bags in storage because I'm changing apartments um, but it is a REI Lumina 20 which is a synthetic 20 degree bag and then for pillow some people might be, give me some crap for it, but it's just this cheap insulated eBay pillow. It cost me $8, and it weighs three ounces more than the, the Sea to Summit Eros. So I figured I could live with it. Sleeping pad is the Climate X, or Nishra X-Frame. Super lightweight, if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, definitely look up a video on it. Our value is not the highest, but I've got the Sea to Summit Thermalite Reactor Extreme liner bag, which should add 20 degrees, so I'll be at a zero degree bag. So in the February months, this should do just fine. I find it plenty comfortable. Uh, let's see, we can move on to kitchen. So for the kitchen, we have the MSR wind burner system. I like it much better than the jet boil system for a few reasons, but uh, it's a one liter stove, comes with the insulated liner. It's got the cup that attaches on the bottom. It's got, I probably can't read it, but it's got measurements on the side in there. There you go. Um, and then it's got the lid. And then you, with the lid, it's got the drink, like the drinking lip saver piece and the strainer and the hole in the center if you want to buy the Java kit you can and then you open it up inside is the stand for the fuel canisters like the feet to make it more stable then you have the stove which has the fold out flame adjuster and then just like the jet boil system it snaps into the bottom like so and then inside the stove you have the fuel canister and then I also keep, you're not going to be able to see that, but it's a 
little swab of pack towel just to protect the bottom. And that is all nice and compact and weighs in at 15 and a half ounces. So it weighs just under a pound which might be heavier than some systems but I like that it's all self-contained and then for eating I use the Sea to Summit Alpha Light Spork it's the long the seven inches because it just so happens to be the perfect depth to get to the very bottom of the wind burner cup For headlamp, I'll be using the Black Diamond Storm. It's, uh, I love it. It's got a bunch of cool features like, as you can see here, if I push the button, it doesn't come on and it blinks blue. That's locked, so it can't turn on the pack. You just have to hold it down, and then it'll turn on. And then you got a couple different settings, and you got red. Yeah. It's a uh, and it's waterproof. It's not splash proof. It's waterproof up to one meter for thirty minutes. Uh, for a knife, I'm using the it's a Gerber Bear Grills Edition Leatherman. Nothing too fancy. Pliers, sharp knife, scissors, tweezers, and it's small and lightweight. I uh, this is probably my coolest thing, I or my one of my favorite pieces of gear. It's called the Sol Soto Pocket Torch, and uh, what it does is it basically you open it up, and on the inside is your standard Bic lighter, and then instead of just having your traditional Bic lighter flame, you stick it in the, in the Soto lighter, and then it'll turn it into a pocket torch burns at 2500 degrees and it just does so much better than your standard Bic lighter in wind, cold temperatures, etc. Then one thing I always carry with me is my map compass, uh, my navigating compass. I it might be overkill because the trail is pretty easy to navigate but personally I like it just for reassurance. It's just a feel safe item I guess you could say. I'm also using the Sea to Summit X mug. Silicone mug folds up, weighs nothing. It's got measuring increments on the inside. Easy to clean, collapses. Awesome. For water, I have just your standard smart water bottle and your Sawyer. Uh, this is the Sawyer Mini. I will actually be getting the Sawyer Squeeze but just for video purposes, I have the same thing here. And then with the Sawyer Squeeze comes the cleaning kit. Then have the Rainfly, not sorry, pff, not Rainfly, Bugnet. Uh, another personal preference item. I use them all the time, I like camping and stuff. Uh, it's just kind of what I'm used to. And for footwear footwear was probably my toughest item because I have huge feet and it is very hard to find good shoes or boots or etc like I these are 14s and they're large 14s because I wear 15 uh, they are the Vasque they are the Mindbender, like 7204s. I don't know what that means, but they're Mindbenders. Uh, super lightweight mesh, dry fast, good sole. They last a while. I've used them. They don't give me blisters. So that is what I'll be taking. And then for storage, as you can see in the back right there, blue, just uh, it's a bivy sack for miscellaneous goods. Green one up there is for... Uh, just other stuff and then I have gear I'm planning to get is obviously all my clothing, rain gear, etc. And then I need to get the Sea to Summit Ultra Sill dry sacks 
well, a comp couple compressions, couple regulars, and then a heavy duty one for the food bag, for bear bagging. And let's see, what else? Okay. Don't actually have the GoPro with me again in storage, uh, but representing the GoPro is the chesty bag. I'll be bringing the GoPro, chest harness, and the pole mount so I can mount it to my trekking poles, which are going to be the REI Centennial Anniversary uh, Cork Grip Trekking Poles. Thanks for watching my gear video, guys. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them. Uh, definitely open to suggestions. And if you have any questioning on why I chose what I did, well, first off, if it's an REI, REI item, I'm an employee there, so discount helps a lot. And I'm trying to save money where I can because, as most of you who have done it or are planning to do it, through hiking is very expensive. So I gotta save money where I can, especially because college students, believe it or not, aren't made of money. But anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends, and follow my Instagram account, which is at Grant C Films. Thank you.